before we go and uh, execute our next action item right here uh, I just wanted to make sure that you understand the mirroring I do have another server where mirroring is set up so I wanted to show you that what I talked about earlier right here are the three uh, system views sys database mirroring underscore endpoints we do need to know endpoints right here this is one way to find out uh, this is if you run this command right here this will show you the endpoints right here so name is endpoint name is mirroring and all that endpoint information is right here and the other thing that will give you uh, all sort of uh, information about mirroring for your setup this so that you can go ahead and set up on destination server you can go ahead and run this command I'm running a, a system view database underscore mirroring where mirroring role is not null that means the mirroring role is set up for that database so we're gonna go ahead and run this command I just wanted to show you real quick right here you will get all the information this is the information that you do need if you wanted to convert this database uh, right here you can go ahead and uh, database you can use the function um, that would be db underscore name and that would be database underscore ID this is the parameter it would take so if you do this this will give you basically and then you can put comma and asterisk right here so we're gonna go ahead and get the name right here is the name uh, sorry we left um, role so let's go ahead and execute that as you can see that uh, database name it gives us a database name as well you can put it as database name so let's run this again as you can see the DB name is TFS underscore DW in my case and all other information is right here you can go ahead basically um, script out this script right here and save that into your uh, destination folder if you wanted to set up if you have a mirroring set up and you wanted to know and we do need to set up mirroring um, on our destination server if you have mirroring set up and you need to uh, set up in destination folder this information must be there so that you don't change anything else obviously so, uh, principal ID is going to change because um, um, our principal would be a different server but we can change that in our um, uh, configuration and but we do need uh, some endpoints and our other server names and the other if you have witness right here you can go ahead and select that in my case I am NOT using any witness server so uh, if you are then that information is there too I just wanted to make sure that uh, uh, you know when I showed you all those uh, these system um, uh, views uh, I wanted to show you that uh, what kind of information you get before we move for, uh, further. So let's go back to our uh, execution checklist. Uh, this was right here, script out mirroring. Uh, you can't really script out. Uh, one more thing I wanted to mention, I'm sorry. Uh, up here, uh, if you basically go to the database, this is my uh, database right here. Right click and go to task and click on mirror. You will look at this screenshot you can go ahead and take this screenshot as well if you're not going to look into the information of system views then you can go ahead and uh, take this screenshot it has principle right here and uh, this is the principal uh, endpoints right here and this is the mirror endpoint right here and um, this is pretty good information that is the information probably we would need uh, when we reset our uh, uh, mirroring on our destination server so these are a couple mirroring points that um, I just talked about earlier but didn't really uh, show you since I didn't have set up on this server so let's go back to our uh, execution checklist and move further all right um, next is a uh, script out log shipping and now I do apologize that I don't have log shipping set up but uh, if you do have a log sh shipping set up you can't really I, I don't see a way to uh, script out your log ship log shipping right away but um, you can go ahead and find the databases out from uh, uh, system view and find out what databases were log shipped and where they were log shipped uh, I would have loved to show you this but I uh, did not set it up uh, but um, uh, it's, it's pretty easy if you do have a log shipping you can go ahead and uh, take the screenshots of your configuration um, and uh, if you have a way to script out your log shipping you can do that but um, uh, it's a screenshot is pretty easy that's all you need 
up here SQL Server uh, agent jobs so let's go ahead and complete this script out SQL Server uh, agent jobs so this is my SQL Server 2008 and here are my jobs in order to script out all the jobs couple thing before we script out um, once you script out all the jobs you want to make sure that all the jobs will, uh, are disabled um, one way to do this but uh, that wouldn't be feasible for production server that you can go ahead and basically disable all the jobs here and then script it out but that is not my recommendation because some of the jobs will be executing right here uh, and if you kill in between uh, there there might be some critical processes um, uh, running that is dependent on this job and that job will fail and that process might fail so what I recommend you to do is go ahead and script out all that and that's what I'm going to do and as you can see right here this will be script out all the jobs that we selected right here and we need to basically up here um, I can go ahead and do this wherever at enable is equal to one you might want to change that to zero so that when you create the uh, job on destination server they will all be disabled and you can go ahead and enable them because you don't want once the jobs are created they will start executing since everything is scripted here schedule and everything and uh, we'll, uh, you do want to make sure that uh, they are not enabled and uh, we will uh, take a step on our destination server to enable the jobs that we need to enable uh, not all of the jobs so what I'm going to do is where at enable is I'm going to go ahead and copy this and go to edit find and replace I'm going to go ahead and do it zero so what this will do in this script when the job will be created it'll be created as disabled so you don't have to worry about uh, that uh, you have created the job and start executing right away so replace all as you can see 19 uh, has been uh, disabled 19 um, occurrence right here up here this will basically in, uh, disable the uh, job as well as it will disable your schedule too so let's go ahead and save this screenshot I mean save this script agent jobs dot sql that's what I'm going to do that is one thing that I wanted to mention but if you take a look go back to your jobs some of the jobs are system they are related to your replication and they're related to your system uh, policy purge history that will be already there basically so I would recommend that go ahead and select the jobs uh, you can uh, c press control and select multiple jobs like this is what we have what else we have the DB mail setting we went through the DB mail setting and uh, I'm gonna show you on another server that uh, if your DB mail is not set up it is set up then how you can take the screenshot so let's go and take a look on this server you go to management DB mail right click configure DB next and click on manage database mail account and profile click next let me go ahead and pull another server I don't have configured on this one either Alright, we're gonna go in management, DB mail, right click, click on manage database mail and account, click next, and up here you can go ahead and click on view 
or delete existing or you can go ahead and click view change or delete anything this will show us the main thing this is what the screenshot you wanted to take this has account name right here tech brothers and email and it has all the SMTP server information and uh, authentication information as well so if you click next uh, you click back and take took the screenshot you can go ahead and cancel that this screenshot will help us to set up our mail I just wanted to show you that how you do it I do not have set up on my 2008 box so um, but I didn't want to uh, just talk about it and not show you uh, where it exists and what screenshot you need to take all right uh, we went through the uh, DB mail object uh, script out all the proxy accounts and credentials credential we did talk about that if you have credential then you can go ahead and um, script that out proxy accounts let me show you where the proxy accounts are so let's go back to our SQL Server 2008 right here if you have set up any proxy you can click off on one of these and just go if you have a uh, set up proxy then you can right click and script that out in my case I don't have it basically uh, if you when you create a proxy you must create credential that's why I put it together that uh, you need to uh, basically uh, look at the credential um, and um, up here you need to uh, script out credential first and then you can script out the proxy if that proxy is going to be used in SQL Server 2012 since my motto is that I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, migrate and upgrade uh, all everything from SQL Server 2008 R2 to 2012 that's why I'm showing you almost everything so uh, up here is um, if you have any operator alerts let me show you where they are and then you can script it out it's really easy I'm gonna show you back this one because I, I have set up that I do not have any setup on SQL Server 2008 but I do want to show you that where they exist so alerts up here if you have any alerts right here I do have a job status alert so I can go ahead and click on create it'll create a job alert right here for me script you can save that out into uh, your uh, destination folder um, all the alerts and let's take a take a look on operator I do have an operator you can right click and click on create operator this will create a script for you so you can take that on your uh, next um, uh, you can save it in your folder and take it to your um, destination folder so proxy accounts uh, I really probably don't have any proxy accounts here right now so let's go back to our list and see so script out all the alerts we we looked at it I do not have uh, any on SQL Server 2008 so um, uh, that's that's okay but I do wanted to show you where they exist uh, and how how to script them out next is save SQL Server configuration file this is important you really do want to uh, go ahead and save that a easy way to do it is you can go ahead on SQL Server 2000 uh, on your source SQL Server and run a query called exact SP underscore configure so we'll go ahead and run that and up here everything all the right here is the output for this this is the configuration of our existing server so we can always take a look later on our configuration and let's say that we have set up some configuration uh, maximum um, memory and minimum memory and all that SQL Server configuration and then you can go ahead and uh, um, look at a SQL Server 2012 your your destination for uh, SQL Server and match with this so we're gonna go ahead and uh, copy with header and I'm going to go ahead and click notepad and we're gonna go ahead and save it 08 SQL server configuration dot SQL all right so that is completed let's go back to our checklist
and data encryption i do not have any data encryption if you have data encryption uh, enabled and uh, you need to have a master data key because when you restore your encrypted uh, database onto destination server you would require your master data key in order to restore that so keep in mind that if you have encryption enabled you do want to make sure that you have a copy of all the keys you know all the uh, uh, whatever it takes for data encryption to data encrypted encrypted database restore uh, it would require on our destination so you want to make sure that you have all the keys so this this is it this is it as far as uh, our uh, source sql server 2008 concerns so if i have missed any anything that is uh, more applicable in your environment please go ahead and add that in your checklist 